What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show for episode 11 here of our Madden 25 New England Patriots franchise mode here on the channel. Uh, the 3-6 and six pitch take on the 1-7 and seven Bears. Yeah, this Bears team is hot trash. 76 overall, Kayla Williams. DeAndre Swift is garbage here in year number 5. I mean, yeah, career year bounced and then, yeah, surprisingly, he's trash again. Wonder... Wonder why Kula Herbert's also here. They do have a fullback, uh, Kyrie Blassen game. Okay, Keenan Allen's old self, DJ Moore. Rome Adunze, he's here. Tyler Scott, Valais Jones Jr. Those are their receivers. They got Ger uh, Gerald Everett and Cole Komet. Surprise Everett's starting probably because Komet's getting a bump down. Braxton Jones, their left tackle. Tevin Jenkins is their left guard. Center's going to be Ryan Bates. Okay, right guard Nate Davis and right tackle. Come on, Darnell Wright. Okay, Montez Sweat is their defensive end as well as Darrell Taylor. I can get behind it. Uh, Gervin Dexter and Andrew Billings is in the middle. Uh, they got Aziz Ojolari, uh, the Tremaine Edmonds. Okay, not too bad. And TJ Edwards, the former Eagle, in that linebacking core. Jalen Johnson, uh, Tyreek Stevenson, Tyler Gordon, uh, Terrell Smith, and Jalen Jones are their corners. Kevin Byard, the former Eagle, and Jaquan Brisker are going to be their starting safeties. Okay, not too bad there. Santos is their kicker, and Tory Taylor is their rookie punter. All right, rookie punter there. Uh, a bunch of people who are injured here for the Chicago Bears. Uh, a bunch of depth guys, actually. I mean... Martin there is their only maybe potential kind of starter looking player because he was like a 73. But yeah, everyone else is just like super depth or practice squad guy. So I'm assuming they literally just everyone who was hurt went there and they're not going to touch. I'm not going to take them off or anything. Hey man, I, I can get behind it. I, I respect it. I mean, you get it. You guys aren't going to play. So we're taking away the passing game. We're going to try and run on them. I mean, we haven't really done much success running the last couple of weeks. I mean, we've done running as our focus on offense the last, I mean, last episode and then half of the previous episode, and we ran for like 150 yards combined, those two games. So not really a big focus on actually rushing uh, the ball. And I mean, I guess that's also what happens when you're behind. Like, if you were up going into halftime, sure, I mean, we might focus more on, you know, the rushing attack. Uh, but the fact that we are usually playing while not winning <laughs> kind of plays a big factor into why we don't run more just saying i think that makes sense personally uh but defensively hopefully everyone's good here on defense uh don't really need to have anyone <laughs> hurt because our defense kind of just like our offense kind of paper thin here it's kind of like face value it's like hey you have this that's all you have nothing else nothing's behind the gate you know, do not pass good, do not collect $200, you see what you get, and that's absolutely it. Uh, but the defense, alright, we're, we're good there on defense, no one's hurt. You know, no one's no one's hurt on defense, and we're just going to kind of move into this game. Hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves too bad. I mean, last week the defense allowed Will Levis, of all players, to kind of just torch him. So hopefully Caleb Williams just doesn't have his career game. They did highlight Hunter Henry. Henry is leading the league in both receiving yards and touchdowns and receptions. Yeah, that's what happens when you are the go-to receiver here in New England. You're literally getting all of the looks. He's like Zach Ertz when Carson Wentz threw for, like, what, 1,600? No, he didn't throw for uh, 4,000 yards that year. It was like Zach Ertz the year Carson Wentz, like, broke out, and it was like, okay, Carson Wentz is, like, a really good quarterback before he destroyed his entire leg. Yeah. I think it was the year before he threw for 4,000 yards with no receiver hit 500. I think it was that year. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, uh, Hunter Henry having a historical season, that's kind of, like, the only thing you really want to root for at this point is, like, okay, let's see how good of a season he can have. Uh, take a look at his starting QB. Drake May, two yards under 2019 touchdowns and four picks on the season. Really not a bad season uh, to start off with for Drake May. He's really keeping it together. He's really working well with the offense. And there you go. Douglas, DeMario Douglas. He gets himself a first down there. 
with the catch and run. Now come on second and four, handoff Gibson up the middle, and did you did you see that linebacker just absolutely throw our guard or center onto the ground and then make the tackle? I did. Everyone saw that, right? All right, Drake May drops back. Drake May, oh, look at that pancake there. Like, I let David Andrews re-engage the block. Like, I, I really thought uh, we were going to get absolutely wrecked on that one. Uh, but May here, second and goal, wide open in the middle. All right, Hunter Renfro. I get it. Wide open in the middle. 7 nothing New England. Out here comes Caleb Williams, and that's going to be a 3 and out. All right, tried to do a little wheel route there to Swift, and yeah, nice little tackle there behind the line of scrimmage. All right, first and 10 here, second drive of the game for the Patriots. Oh, we do got blocking downfield. Okay. All right, I think it's Bell right there, but that sets up the Hunter Renfro. Very big catch and run right there. On to the 43 on Chicago's side of the field. Hopefully, we can get our second touchdown of the game here this drive. All right, third and one hand off to Ramondre Stevenson. Stevenson pops off for a fairly big run. He's going to be taken down on the 20, so knocking on the door of the red zone right there is Ramondre Stevenson. All right, first and goal from that 30-yard line. Over the middle, that's Hunter Henry. And Hunter Henry catch and just slide right there. Possession catch, you know, nothing fancy on that one. Don't drop the ball. Get it in the basket. Go down. There you go. 14 nothing New England. So, New England up 14 to nothing. Handoff for play action to Swift. Williams trying to scramble. Williams is going to throw that one. That one's going to be broken up. I mean, he he had a clear running lane, right? Like you, Everyone saw that too, right? He could have literally just scrambled forward and he would have had a first down. All right. Hunter Henry catch and run. He's going to outrun 49 right there. Oh, foot race to the end zone. He's in there for the touchdown. Hunter Henry has himself his what, second touchdown of the game right there. Big, though, Hunter Henry touchdown right there. Big catch and run. Big Hunter Henry touchdown. He's just adding to that historic season he's already on. Third and one, and they're going to get the first down, actually. All right. There you go. Keenan Allen. That's why Keenan Allen got involved on the play. Uh, that's the first down. Third and seven now here. Two minutes left in the second quarter. Williams scrambling. Williams, uh, he tripped over the guy on the ground. He dead ass tripped over the guy laying on the ground. Okay. I see why they are one and seven. Minute left here. Minute drill. Come on. Oh, wide open B. Oh, B was wide open and we get sacked. Sacked by Billingsloon. B was absolutely open. That's probably a touchdown right there on that slant. All right. Come on. Trying to get some yards back here. Third time. Actually got a bunch of the yards back the previous play. Uh, but Hunter Henry over the middle again. All right. 20 seconds left. Let's get in field goal range or something here. Nope, they're going to leave Hunter Henry wide open. Henry, oh my lord, took all of his ankles. Dude, took two sets of ankles right there, Hunter Henry did. Right, we got 12 seconds left. Uh, we do have one more timeout. So nice, another big chunk play. Doesn't need a chunk play. Just get a touchdown right there. That's the hat trick for Hunter Henry here. Hunter Henry, three touchdowns here in the first half of this one. He is putting on a clinic on how to run away as a tight end. So, up now, three, four scores to nothing here in the first half. Now, we might be able to run the ball, actually, coming into the second half. We might be able to actually run the ball. We're going to try. It's not going to work. Let's be honest here. It's not for a lack of trying. I, I really I really do try to run the ball, and then I get stonewalled and, you know, get, like, two, three yard you know, carries and it just doesn't work out uh third and three now here play action and williams just rolls into a sack right there his second sack of the game uh barmore gets on the sack that time makes it a fourth and 11 and sets up the punt all right 28 nothing drake may his first drive here of the second half wide open is julio jones old man julio jones foot race third and say he's out at the one Julio Jones a yard shy of the touchdown there. About five and a half left here. Hand off Gibson, and Gibson's in there. First rushing touchdown of the game for Antonio Gibson. Probably first rushing touchdown of the season, actually, for Antonio. Uh, we don't really run the ball much in the red zone with Antonio. He's more of a Ramondre Stevenson territory. Uh, but here we go. Caleb Williams, he's rolling out. He's scrambling. He fumbles, picked up by the offensive line. So sack fumble right there. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. 
I, I really couldn't tell you what Caleb Williams is doing here. All right, wide open. We have Hunter Henry again. Another foot race down the sideline. Can he beat out 31? And he can for a touchdown game uh, for Hunter Henry. You love to see that one right there. Now he got grabbed a little dirt, tosses over his head. Caleb Williams drops back. Caleb Williams scrambles and eats a sack. Caleb Williams is a mobile quarterback, right? Like, he, he can scramble with the ball. I, I really don't know why he's this bad. Uh, but here we go. Julio Jones getting involved in this one. That time he just kind of shrugs off a tackle. I mean, he had a fumble last game. He was a yard shy of a touchdown this one. He dude was out for blood. He's trying to have a revenge game right now. Uh, play action. Here we go. Wide open is B. Nah, Drake May. He's going to step up and he's going to run with it. We got Julio Jones as a blocker. Engages the wrong guy, though. Should have had the lead guy there, Julio. Not the guy, not the deep safety. Uh, all right, I mean, he's not, he's not a blocker. I get it. I'm not too mad about it. All right, here we go. Hand off Stevenson. Ramondre Stevenson into the end zone untouched. Uh, there you go there. Big touchdown for uh, for the uh, for the Patriots. You like to see that their second rushing touchdown of the game. First for Ramondre Stevenson. So Gibson and Stevenson both have touches in the red zone and both have some points in the red zone. Caleb Williams, that one's picked off. All right. Kyle Duggar with the interception. He's going to get dragged down at the 33-yard line. So not quite a pick six there. But, hey, I'll get behind it. There you go. Defense, they're celebrating. They like what they're getting done here. Drake May is out here again. Handoff Antonio Gibson and Gibson down at the 18-yard line. Six minutes left here. There's not, there's not enough space to kill the clock. I mean, you're kind of unfortunately going to have to score on this drive. That's going to be a catch and run there by Austin Hooper. So Hooper there, the backup tight end. He gets the touchdown there. Uh, you like to see that for the former Atlanta Falcon. And 56 nothing is the final score here. Oh, boy. That is, not a good, that is not a good game right there for the Chicago Bears. RIP Caleb Williams' confidence, man. That is absolutely shot right there. Caleb Williams, I don't think, threw for 50 yards. I really don't. Uh, 409 yards, 6 touchdowns for Drake May. 20 for 21. 71 yards for Ramondre. 46 for Antonio. 20-something there for uh, Drake. 211 for Hunter Henry. Receiving 4 touchdowns. 88 for Julio. 58 for Renfro. 18 for Ramondre. Uh, with 18 for Hooper with a touchdown. And 16 for Douglas. See, sack a lot by Cole Strange, which is brutal because he's like our best offensive lineman. Two pancakes by Hooper and City Sal. Defensively, not much defensive stats here. Five tackles between Tal uh, July and Tavai. Uh, four TFLs by Keon White. Two sacks by Keon White as well. Second half from that guy. Jennings had a sack. Uh, sack for Jones. Half sack for a couple other guys. Uh, Barmore had a half sack, which is brutal. Duggar had the interception late in this one. So at the 56th point. Uh, Joey did his thing here, 8 for 8 for extra points. I mean, he did what we had to do. No punts this game. Kick return, there's one kick return front by Marcus Jones, who is the start off the game. And then six punt returns there for Jones, agile 11 yards per punt return. Uh, Drake May and Marcus Jones both picked up some skill points right there. So let's see, hopefully they have themselves a uh, kind of a good turn of events here. Hopefully they kind of bumps them up a little bit. So Drake May is an 80 overall with the morale and the team play boost. Don't know why, because we got smacked the previous two games. Uh, we'll upgrade that fuel general though, since that is what our skill, our scheme fit is. You know, just need to try and fit in the best we can to get as many skill points as possible here uh, with uh, the Patriots. Uh, Marcus Jones, though, young corner right here. Man-to-man uh, -man coverage, yep, throw them on man-to-man. -man. I mean, we just need to not have our corners get toasted every time they had to play man-on-man. -man. Uh, I'm just not just not really liking that our corners get toasted every time. Uh, but following a 56-point blowout win, going to take on the 4-5 and five Los Angeles Rams next episode. But text on YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super class. So catch you on next episode. We'll catch you later.